John, can you describe your crossbreeding program? Well, we use, Cheryl and I, we use uh, the F1s, Hereford Frisian Cross Cows, and we put the Semmental bull over, the, the German or the Fleckby bull, as we try and get them off uh, Don Madison and Air Park, which we've had very good success with them, those bulls. What advantages do you get from crossbreeding? Well, we, because down here we're in good rainfall, or most years, it's a drought, bit of a drought this year, but because we've got uh, good rainfall, we have good grass, and uh, <clears throat> we find with the uh, Hereford Parisians and the Sim over them that uh, we get good weight. And when you get weight, you've always got, you know, good money, most years. Even if prices are down a little bit, you're still averaging 400 kilos or more for your, your steers and 375 for your heifers. And even if you only get a dollar a kilo, it's still, you know, reasonable money. At what weight are we talking about and at what age? I'm talking that weight at about uh, 10 months. About 10 months, yeah, nine and a half, 10 months. I, I yeah, average on uh, reasonable years about 415 for my steers. And that's off the grass, that's no grain or anything like that, and about 375 for my heifers. Are there any disadvantages with crossbreeding? Not really. I, I suppose the Hereford Parisian is not as popular with, uh, because of uh, the cancer in the eye. That can, um, the Angus Parisian is probably more popular down here than the Hereford Parisian. But I just like the Hereford's got a bit more bone, I think, uh, the animal. And uh, the Hereford Parisian with the seven-tailed bull, I don't think you can beat it. That cross. And, um, <clears throat> you know, the weights there, it's, uh, uh, no, it's spot on, I reckon it's the best cross, we, we've, we reckon it's the best cross in here, Cheryl and I. Where do you source your replacement females? Well, we generally go to the F1 sales at Camerdown or Warnable and we just buy them, yeah, uh, sometimes we buy them unjoined and uh, most times we buy them on the point of carving, yeah, in January, February sales. When you buy them at point of calving, you've got to put up with whatever they got in calf to. Well, they, they generally carve down to uh, Angus or Limousins. They generally calf the F1s to Angus or Limousins. So you've got a good comparison between the two? Well, we just find that the... Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I, I just find that the, 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 our uh, Semental cross is a lot quieter. It's the quietest feel that we've had on our place. We've had, you know, because we buy in our F1s, we've had Angus calves, uh, Angus cross, we've had limousines cross, but the Samadale cross is definitely the quietest feel you can have on your farm. So you think good temperament leads to good beef? Yeah, very good. Yeah, of course it does. I mean, I can walk up to my vealers and they're, they're so quiet, you know, they're just great. Where the others could knock you over, you know, they're a bit flighty. Right. But the sim, no, it's fantastic. Very quiet. We love them. Where do you market your calves and at what age? We sell our calves in the Warnable market at <clears throat> about uh, 10 months old, you know, nine and a half, ten and a half, but mainly about 10 months old we sell them. And uh, it's post weighing in Warnable, which is great for Sementels because uh, if anyone's heard of post weighing or hasn't heard of it, they bid on them before they weigh them. Now with the Simmental Cross, a lot of the buyers could say that pen of steers, feelers, will weigh 400. But when they go and weigh them, they can weigh 415, 420. And the, and the buyer scratches his head and said, oh, I shouldn't have probably paid so much a kilo for them. They were a bit heavier than I thought. And that's the beauty of post weighing. And that's the beauty of having the Sementals when you post weigh, in my opinion, Sementel cross. What's your opinion of crossbreeding during a drought? <clears throat> well, this is probably the worst year we've had, so we're, I mean, at the, at the moment we haven't had too much problems. We're, uh, we've sold our vealers probably a shade lighter than normally, but we've done pretty well. And... It's from now on. This is when the test will come, when the weather gets cold. 
and um, you know hay scarce and so I'll be able to tell you down the track further down the track how tough this will be but at the moment the weather's warm and it doesn't take much for cattle to stay up when the weather's warm it's when it starts to get cold and rough the weather gets rough this is when you know it's going to be tough running the farm do you think the Hereford Cross handles the cold better than most? Well, I think they do. Yeah, I, I, I don't, I'm not uh, stressed out any more than any other farm with other uh, crosses. I, I think we'll hold our own. And uh, yeah, we'll get through this, no worries.